What you got there, Kareen? I have a kidney bean. Bean? Yeah. It looks well, a little big to be a bean. Yeah, it's a giant kidney bean. <laughs> I'm going to make huge <laughs> bean soup. Good luck with that. All right. Yeah, okay. um, no, I have a kidney. Okay, so this is pig kidney, I think. I Cow think kidney, so. Something kidney. Some animal kidney. Not ours. No, not okay. human. Not so much. Um, so we are going to run through what the dissection is going to look like that you guys are doing for the kidney, um, starting with the external part. So on here, you can kind of sort of see in the on the medial border, in the renal hilum, right there in the center, we have three things that are going in or coming out, however you want to look at it. Um, the renal vein is the thinner walled vessel. Mm -hmm. Then the renal artery is kind of the thicker one there. And then the ureter, which is the part that goes down into the bladder to store the urine. Right? So also on the outside, I think it's just the lateral border on the other side. Just the lateral yeah, border. And then the renal capsule, which is going to wrap around the outside of it. So if you peel off a little layer, you can Pretend see Pretend peeling. Pretend peeling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's open that thing up. And <gasps> magically. Magic, yay. We did a little pre-filming dissection here, folks. So you guys are going to open your kidney up basically like a book during the dissection. And these are stained, so you can see the blue ones are the veins, the red um, vessels there are the arteries. So you can see the differentiation pretty well there where blood is versus where urine is. So if you look along the outside layer, which is our renal cortex, that's where the nephrons are going to be starting. So all the blood is heading out there. They're going to be filtering the blood and bringing it down through the channels um, into the renal medulla. Medulla. Right, so the medulla and I've also part. heard that pronounced medulla. Really? Really. Yeah, I like yeah. medulla better. Me too. But that's this middle part. Medulla is fun to say. Medulla. Right. Um, now in the medulla, you're going to have the renal columns, which will sit between each one of the pyramids. So on here you can see uh, the pyramids are, you know, they this, look like pyramids. Yeah, this is a good pyramid. Yeah, there's quite a few there's a good, good pyramid ones over in there. Yep. And then the columns would be in between that. Right in the middle. They're going to be filtering or pulling the urine basically down in through the um, renal papilla, draining the urine into the minor calyx. And on here you can kind of just see the area that's the tube. Corrine did an awesome job cutting this Ooh, right down the why? center. Thank you. Yeah, so they either, you can, we actually cut right through those calyces, the mm -hmm. minor calyx, and then where all the minors come together, you can find a major calyx. Yeah, like right about here or so, right? Right in there. Yeah, this is a good right, spot yeah. right in here. Right in there. And then they are all going to filter into our renal pelvis. Pelvis. And then I guess there's one other thing you should recognize is the renal lobe. So remember, a renal lobe is going to consist of one pyramid um, and the half columns kind of around that in each right, piece. Right, so half a column here, a whole pyramid, and a half a column there. I think that's well, we it. Got, once we get from here, uh, for, we get Oh, yes, you can actually see right, she can shove the probe right into the ureter, which right. is where the urine would be draining out of the kidney and down into the lab. Right, so minor calyx, major calyx, and then the renal pelvis into the ureter. Woohoo! Woohoo! Are we done? Yeah! Awesome.